It's the intersection where voting rights and free speech meet, and the University of Florida is taking center stage. Here's how it all began. A lawsuit was filed against the state by a coalition of voting rights organizations in response to Governor Ron DeSantis' approval of Senate Bill 90. The bill limits the use of drop boxes, adds stricter ID requirements for voting by mail, and bans voter influence within 150 feet of polling places. In a press release, the coalition referred to the bill as Florida's discriminatory voter suppression law. Three political science professors, Daniel Smith, Michael McDonald, and Sharon Austin, requested to testify. The university sent an email stating, quote, There have been news reports indicating the University of Florida violated the First Amendment rights of three faculty members by denying their request to testify in exchange for payment. According to a UF policy, employees wishing to engage in paid or unpaid work that may present a conflict of interest must receive approval. In that same email UF sent to the university community, it made clear that, quote, if the professors wish to testify pro bono on their own time without using university resources, they are free to do so. The professors have been vocal online, but it's still unclear whether they will testify. The university also revealed it is immediately appointing a task force that will review the school's conflict of interest policy. Ophelia Jacobson, WUFT News.